Welcome back with us folks. Tonight we are reviewing the spot play. Spotify reported this morning great earnings. More so was the guidance that was excellent. They said they were um, ahead of Apple concerning all the podcasts that they're hosting. So to me this was a very good idea to get in um, on a dip. Um, it had this amazing spike at the open see how this would trigger something that is crazy because you're opening higher than the than the pre-market high and then it started spiking like this everyone wants to get in and you see it was opening at you know around 270 and it jumped eight dollars so whoever was in that spike <clears throat> was a crazy play saying that you know, you buy, let's say, an option here for 270. You get super green here. You need to be extremely quick to, to sell at the top because then it turned down on you. But that's not the purpose of the um, the, uh, the the video. Uh, what I want to show you is where I started to see that we were um, about to, to probably pop a little higher. Now. Um, I'll show you with the uh, the option itself, but I was looking at the option prices when it was down here, it reached the top, went down there, reached the top again, and then it went down there. I was like, okay, it's going to probably do that a little bit. At least we're going to catch some of it. Let me show you what it did, and you'll understand what I mean. Okay, now I was switched to the 270 calls for spot to show you exactly what I meant with the price action on the calls. This is the one minute chart on these calls. Um, you know, just side note is whoever got in here at four, this went to 11, 11, 11, one, uh, 10 at the top during a one minute candle. So you have to be pretty quick to grab all this. I mean, get in there and to get out at that point. But like I said, that's not the point of the um, video. What I want to show you is this here. People that got in at um, in low four, even uh, sorry, a little uh, under four, uh, and this is high six, even seven, and then same thing again, and it goes up again. So there's a very good potential. I know it's a little expensive to be uh, at the bottom there, but the price action was really, really rewarding. So this is the reason why I decided to go 470. First of all, 470 was the upper limit there. Um, making it in the money and then some would have been very uh, lucrative, would have, paid, would have paid well. And the idea was to buy from, from the bottom. So we were looking for double bottom, triple bottoms we're back on the actual chart here and this is what i was saying um, we're looking at double triple bottoms and this is pretty much what i saw this was the bottom of that wick another bottom there a little higher and when we dipped here uh, to me this was the bullish sign it hit the 50 ema and this is where we alerted uh, on the 270 calls, making uh, ways to move back to the 270 zone. The idea was for us to take the bottom and move up. Fortunately, that's not quite ha what happened. And look at what happened. This is the top of the previous day and we did just a hair under now we had this price activity that was very close by sometimes what I really like to look what I really like to look for is not this price activity but pre-market activity pre-market activity sometimes is the only thing available because let's say we are on a gap up or something that is um you know we're higher than the, the three previous days we have very little 
um, view of what happened the, the previous day. So sometimes when you look at the price activity from the, um, the pre-market, well, you see that this is exactly where we were. So basically we were support from pre-market, we bounced right on it, and we took our first exit on 270 right there. I believe we were at 80% when we made it to this, you know, here's a top, another top. When you look at all this here, right, you see that this is pretty much, it's reaching where we stopped going up. So the idea is to grab some profit. So I took half out there at 80%. And then we post a few information and eventually I decided to move out when we reached the 275. This was my um, total exit, which was, uh, which was good for, I believe, 200 and something, 232% at the top. And it kept on going, kept a freebie for, um, Uh, as a runner but the idea was to conclude the trade at 275 uh, and 275 was struggling was really trying hard and I thought you know this is good enough um, and always remember look at the price that you pay or you paid for for your play we paid um, a price for the 270 right so you have to add 270 plus your premium. This will set your break even point. And this means that this was a 270 line. It needs to be, let's say you paid $3 for that. It needs to close at 273 at expiration to make sure that you become break even. So, you know, it's Wednesday. We need to make sure that we are a little higher than 273. We were 275 and we're still 200 and something percent. If we were to close here at on Friday, obviously this, this uh, profit would be a lot less. So the idea is to grab some along the way, be happy with it and move on. So just to recap, um, what we looked for was a very good play we saw that the price activity on the premiums was very very good so the risk reward was there um, we got in on what we thought was a bottom and then it found support this was the first support and then we found support lower on the pre-market activity we bounced took some profit on double top and then took the next profit the last profit we took, because I believe we took some along the way, um, took some as we were uh, struggling to pass the 275. So I hope you guys are learning something and I hope to see you in chat. Thanks for watching.